all right so just to start off wet the hair we're gonna cut the top we're gonna create the structure the silhouette of the haircut first um so we're wetting the hair and all i'm doing is i'm starting to create um pretty much a, a perimeter all the way through i'm cutting the sides the length on the sides first to about finger length because that makes it easy for me to just blend into it so let's say i want to do a a number two i can blend right into this because it's finger length if i wanted to do a, a half on the sides you know i know i'm blending into finger length it just makes it easier without and it protects you from fading up too high um and before you know it you're so high that you know your your, your client ends up with like a faux hawk or you're shaved way too high into um that side part and then you got number two all the way up to the side part for example some people will just do clip over comb. For me, personally, I, I like this technique better. For me, clip over comb, um, you can't really see the length you're retaining above it. And when when I get clip over comb done on myself, people always end up going up high, bringing my perimeter higher than my parietal ridge. Parietal ridge is just pretty much where your head starts to curve into the top of your head. And these aren't fancy words. These are basic barber school words that you learn in barber school. I already know the trolls are gonna come out on on the comment section <laughs> when I use those words, but those are basic, you know, barber school textbook words. Okay, and we're just doing the same technique all the way through. Now, after I've done this, I, you know, I will use clip over comb or scissor over comb to clean it up a bit, to refine it a bit. But at least now I know what, you know, what length I've retained, and I'm not creating that same, that same look with with clip over comb. It's already there, and I'm just cleaning it up with clip over comb. So now we're we're um, we're cutting the top, and I hope you guys are, um, notice the the multi cam action. So I got two cameras set up, one on my chest, one um, on the side. So you guys can actually see, um, or I'm trying to, to, to make it so that you guys from every angle. For some of you guys, that's important when it comes to learning. And honestly, what made me start doing this was the online academy. Like guys were asking for it. So now with the online academy, we're doing a lot of extra stuff to make sure you guys are retaining all the information. And at this point, we're just doing horizontal sections and we're just making sure that we keep every we, we're cutting everything straight across. We're not curving anything to the, we're not following the shape of the head. We're just going straight across. And you'll just repeat these steps. And of course, I'm using the 245 evo shears the shears are six and in, six inch shears like everybody's always asking um in the comment section so they're, they're six inches all right so now that we've done we've cut the top we're gonna blow dry it I'm gonna put 245 indestructible clay in. And you wanna make sure that the way that it looks on your hands is is clear. If it looks clunky in your hands, it's gonna look clunky in the hair. And I'm starting from the back and I'm applying it to the front. Now that it's in the hair, while it's wet, I'm gonna start to blow dry the hair. Putting putting in um, product before the blow dry, it just um, it just lasts longer. It it, it sits in the hair better. Um, you distri it distributes better. 
and and clay our clay has bentonite clay in it and what that does is it, it expands up to six times when when it gets when a little bit of moisture is in it it will expand so that'll give the hair a little um you know an, uh, another coat um of thickness it'll be fuller looking the volume will stay longer the hold will be there longer so that's the whole idea and then after after we cut it you know we'll do some scissor over comb we'll refine it after we fade it then you just you can put a little bit more clay you know to give it the finished look or you can you can cocktail and put um put like a the victory fiber or put the royal wax the 245 styling pucks whatever you want to do for a finishing look put some hairspray whatever you want to do All right, so now the top is done. And now we're just doing a regular fade right into the top. And you guys can follow along with the color chart in the bottom left corner, using the, the Coilless T outliners to ball them out. And I'm using the gold FXs. These are these are new. These ain't even out yet. So I got invited to an event at the CT Barber Expo. Um, only 100 people got a gold ticket to enter the event, and every person who got a gold ticket got a clipper for free. So they did the unveiling of this clipper. They did like a whole Steve Jobs type thing. So I got number nine out of 100, and they came in like these gold bars. It was pretty dope. Great experience, man. So all I did to to fade this out was. I used my clipper close and then I opened it up. I went up almost halfway and then I opened it up a little bit more, went up about three quarters of the way and it was it was blended. You guys see how high I'm going. Now open it up a little bit more, go up about three quarters of the way and it's blended. All right, so at this point, we use our number one open to create our next guideline, and now, and then we use our number one closed. Now we'll follow up with the blade open to blend everything to, together. All right, so at this point, we're using our number two. Our number two, you might need a number three at this point to blend into um, the sides, which you did with the scissors. But a number two, as you can see, did pretty good. And uh, we'll follow it up with the one and a half guard because it's still a little bit dark. Just to, just to soften it up a bit and blend it from the one open to the two. All right, and, and if you need to, sometimes people's hair, you know, people's hair is a little stubborn when fading. Now you can kind of follow it up with the one open and then the one closed if you need to, just to clean everything up, make sure that it's looking, it's looking good, that it's blending. And what I like to do is look at it, look at the haircut in different angles, because in different angles, you see it with different lighting. So sometimes your eyes can play tricks on you. You want to make sure that the haircut looks good, regardless of the angle that you're looking at it or how far away you are from the haircut. It needs to look blended.
All right, and this is what I was talking about, you know, just refining the haircut. You can do clip over comb, you can do scissor over comb, you can do both. I kind of sometimes I mix it up if if scissor comb it isn't isn't doing what I wanted to do, I'll do some clip over comb and see if that works. You know, this is the first time I cut this particular person, so you know, I want to make sure that I'm testing everything out and and seeing how that client's hair reacts to, you know, um different techniques. And then next time I cut his hair to be much faster, I know what what his hair you know what his how his hair works so you know that's kind of the challenge of the first time you cut somebody's hair you gotta you do gotta kind of play with it and see you know what's the best way to attack it and then after that it's gonna be much more of a breeze And it's pretty much the same steps on the side. We'll do our number two, followed up with the one and a half guard, and then the one open to the one closed just to make sure it's blended nicely. And then we'll refine it with scissor over comb and or and or clip over comb. So same steps, just follow along guys. So I talked to you guys earlier about maybe needing the number three, and that was it. I'm just kind of seeing how the number three works, how, how it works the hair, if it helps at all. And um, but but the idea is we do want to keep some type of ridge. That's our perimeter. It's more like a UK style thing. Um, some people don't like it. Some people do. But for me, it's important to be the diverse and 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 be able to be able to to to, to do everything decently. Like do do some things great. But do some, make sure you can do other things too. And I think that's important. That's one of the things that I'm working on. And right here, this is pretty much like using your corners just to make a, a dark area lighter. So in indent areas, you can do that point cutting technique just to clean it up a bit. And here I'm doing clip over comb, again refining it, but the shape is already there. So I'm not trying to, like you can see I'm bringing my comb out. I'm not trying to shape it with clip over comb because I don't want to mess with that ridge that I created. Right, and this is important you guys know how I feel about the shaver just gives it that extra lightness that that gives it some pop and this is pretty much the, the cut man this is the blend We're, like I told you guys right here I'm, I'm using royal wax from 245 to finish off it's kind of like the clay a little bit less hold um, but that's okay because we we the foundation is clay so it's gonna have a lot of hold um, but the wax has good hold too it just has a tad bit more shine than than the clay the clay is a matte finish it has no shine um the wax has a one out of five star rating for shine so it gives it gave it just a little bit of shine um just for some you know shine gives like a smoother look as well so that's the whole idea of why i use shine and that's the finished look guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below smash the like button and if you're not subscribed you're new to the channel subscribe because we'll be continuing to put out some dope cuts like this man but that's the finished cut, man. 